Well, a beef producer on Prince Edward Island is taking steps to reduce stress on animals leading up to slaughter. He's making those changes after getting some tips from an industry expert. Sarah McMillan has more. At the Atlantic Beef Products plant in Albany, workers process about 100 cattle a day. And there's a big focus on how animals are treated before slaughter. We want to make sure that the animals that we do bring in um, are treated very comfortably, that at the end of the day, um, if, they, if they're going to have one bad minute and one bad day, that all the time leading up to that is as comfortable as possible. And the company recently got some fresh pointers for other improvements. Temple Grandin visited the plant last week. She's famous in the livestock world for developing humane practices and often noticing details others don't. It was a really big deal. At the end of the day, you know, if you're an athlete, you know, you, you're never, never going to say no when an Olympian comes to help give you a few pointers. Well, Temple Grandin is kind of like a, a super coach for beef plants. The Atlantic beef plant already has a number of design elements in place based on Grandin's work, including curved chutes, which allow cattle to move in a more natural way, and making sure all areas are well lit and free of distractions that could frighten cattle. But having Grandin see the space in person offered a fresh perspective. She had a look at everything. She got down into the various ramps and chutes that we use. She wants to see things from a cow's perspective. That's what she's famous for. And uh, the fact that she um, was able to do that led us to some, some interesting observations. One of her observations, cattle might be bothered by direct light in the stunning box. So she suggested to go get some cardboard. We're going to try and diffuse this light. We took the light and we started to diffuse it. So now the light is less... Uh, you know, less of a problem directly, say, in an animal's eyes. It's common sense. But, you know, unless you get down there and see it from her perspective, it would be something that was easily missed. She also suggested a few other quick fixes to reduce distractions, like blocking a gap and adding a second black curtain. Easy changes, which Mallard guesses will cost no more than three or four hundred dollars and can be in place by the end of the week. Sarah McMillan, CBC News, Albany. All right, do stay with us after the break.